Hello everyone, welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Now, I'm in Zion. Now, those of you that were paying attention when I w made my first videos after com coming back after my hi hiatus, you will know that the, the base that I had was a very, very basic one that I used to call Fake Lake. And I then decided to try and move here. The main reason to try to move here was just like a temporary thing because they had some stables and I needed some stables. I thought, why not use the stables they have here um, for me to house my pet, which you can see right now, or house my pet. Unfortunately, I then found out that I can only use stables that are made by this character, right? So this character is the one that has the pet, so I need to only make a stable with this character, otherwise you can't use a stable, which I think is a bit ridiculous, frankly. Um, so, I, in order to get up my riding skill, I've been riding around rather a lot. And when I was riding around rather a lot, I did find another location. So I'm going to show you that. So never guess what, we're moving again. I mean, this place is nice. Whoever made this place, it's really nice. But the thing is, it's not really my place. Uh, uh, someone else has made it. I was just going to basically take, take it as like a temporary thing. But um, then when I found out the stables weren't a thing, that I couldn't use them anyway, I was kind of searching around for somewhere else that I thought might, might be better. And I think I found the perfect place because I'm basically in this new location. I'm going to split up this character, which is called Bone Basher, who is, who is mainly my combat character. I'm going to split him up with my... Wes Cool character, which is the character I usually use for building. So they're going to have a, a totem each. Now, when I have returned back to the game, I've had this idea of making like a herb trading roadside station thing. Obviously, I mean, I'm not really going to make loads of money from it. Firstly, because there's not loads of players in the game right now, and also because... I'm sure that selling herbs is not exactly going to make a load of money. Anyway, it's more of like a role play thing more than anything. So I did find when I was roaming around, um, I basically spent a good four or five hours on my, on my, uh, I was about to say on my horse, on my mount. I should just say that because it's a, a deer, it's not a horse. But yeah, I spent a good four, fa four, f wow, I really can't speak today, can I? Um, a good four or five hours on my mount, looking all around the map. I went to some crazy areas on the map that I've never been to that are really deserted because they're in the middle of nowhere, just to get my riding skill up. But also in the back of my mind, I was kind of on the lookout for somewhere that I thought would be a location that we could that we could move to and i think this location would be perfect and i think my game is having issues not loading stuff because there should be a bridge there sometimes it does that and i, and I need to re-log okay if it gets really bad i'll just re-log but yeah i um was i found this this location that I thought is good, that I thought would be good. Um, in fact, I think it's a almost perfect because there's one one area that's really cool that's by the side of the of, of the road and has this really really cool um, tribal area that's like on the side of a cliff. I know it sounds really crazy. But I thought that would be really good as the actual the trading post. And I thought I kind of need to do a little bit of architecture with this character. Just purely so I can make a stable. And by the way, I have posted in the discussions of this game to ask the developer or to recommend that they 
improve some of the things around animal taming and stables that I was talking about in my last video. So yeah, um, in the meantime, I do need to get arch architecture up a little bit, basically enough so that this character is able that to make a stable or a couple so that he can have more than one pet because at the moment I can only have one pet because it's always active and you can't have another pet when you have one active so essentially that's why I need to do that so yeah there is like an area that I can use his totem on where yes it does have an area that is fairly built up but there's also an opportunity for me like to use this character to build a few things and improve his architecture skill enough so that I can make a stable and then the other area there's an area like a small island right next to it where I thought I can use my my other character the was cool character and I can basically start from nothing and use that character that to build my own homestead base area so funnily enough here we are and let's hope it's loading in seems like it is okay so here we are so like I said there is like a revenant around here but one of the things I can say about revenants is they don't like any kind of player made structure they don't really like so if you ever want if you ever want to get away from a revenant a good way for you to do that is to basically find a player made structure i think it's also the same f for rocks as well right i'm just getting rid of my cart they're all in the way now that's not good is it right let's see if i can tidy this up a little bit out the way Wow, well, get out of the way, man. Yeah, let's park it up a bit nicer. There we go. Is it still in the... Yeah, I just want to make sure they're in a safe location. Because I believe... Well, it was quite interesting when I was placing the totem look. Because you can see it, it's literally up the side of a, a cliff. So I kind of wondered how it would work having a totem like floating in the air and all that but it does work fine I tried to get it kind of in the middle of the area not sure I've quite succeeded I think this wall over here might be out of the area I need to check that with my other character but yeah what I thought was I I've basically already st stuck my trading post thing at the side of the road so I thought this is really cool I can add some fires here so that people know there's a a trading post here and I and I have called it the herb trading company so that you know anyone that is having a go at taming that wants some herbs and my mount is stuck in there nice perfect um, they could they will hopefully come here so yeah I thought this was a really cool area for bone basher for his um, tribal area you can see we got a little bit of storage here so this is storage this is also storage and then we got this interesting little area down here look which I thought was kind of cool like a little house or hut which is pretty cool um, and then down here oh yeah and I believe we can use this to go there's another little area here we go look so there's like a small door here it doesn't really lead into much but maybe I can use this for something for some kind of storage oh and there's a revenant nice there's revenants all over the place and then what I was talking about the island so over here look so let me show you what I was talking about with the revenants. If I'm up here on this rock, they just ignore me. So if you're ever in a situation where a revenant is annoying you, 
just find a rock or a man-made structure and it won't attack you it's pretty much the same for animals as well this area has a lot of coyotes so I need to maybe murder a few before I start attempting to build I don't know I thought this was really cool and the fact that there's already like a pathway from the road all the way here so that basically my other character can build something here and has an easy way back up to the road through the other tribe because I think other than that it might be hard to find a way out of here right so I thought this was really cool this is the um, the tribal area oh there's some stuff over here I'm, I'm sure it isn't of any value though yeah oh it lets me open that just some firewood so this tribal area what did I oh yeah so I called this herb farm company and it only has was cool in it so yeah there you go so yeah I'm pretty happy with the move um basically I will um, first work on this character so that on the architecture a little bit so I can make a stable um, and then I will probably then have a go at taming some more creatures for this character because it would be nice for me to get my taming up enough so I could maybe tame a bear or something of that nature oh I'm not sure if this is in my tribal area but I suppose it doesn't really matter see look there's a a coyote that's what I was talking about these things you have to be very careful they will murder you in a second basically so but if you're up here you're fine um yeah and then eventually I'll use was cool to kind of build something here it probably won't be like the most amazing base you've ever seen in your life but uh you know it'll be a fun thing for me to do i wonder if there's a way up here look i can see there's like a but i don't think it goes all the way up look there's something there which looks like a ridge in the mountain or in the cliff but i don't think it goes all the way up i definitely need to investigate around this area don't i anyway hopefully you enjoyed this video i just wanted to update that i have moved in the game um i think my tribal area here goes all the way out to here look so i could maybe build some of the stables here so i think this is the the benefit right of building on the side of a, a cliff is you have a lot of vertical room right for you to make stuff and i think this is a scrap pile as well which is kind of cool i have my own personal s scrap pile which i like anyway i think that will be the end of the video i just wanted to update you guys on my updated situation in zion thank you for watching